as a solution architect you would take multiple services or components and combine them to build a solution amazon s3 or simple storage service is an object based storage service offered as part of aws but beyond storage s3 can also be configured as a web host to serve static web pages to users on the public internet this makes it an ideal starting point for those who are new to aws to start learning about the aws console and its services that's exactly what we will do in this quick video hi i am raghavir varhagiri and welcome to hands on aws there are very few prerequisites for this demo you need an aws account and you need all the website assets namely the html pages any images style sheets or javascript files ready to be uploaded and it will take about 10 minutes there are four simple steps that we need to do let's jump right in the first step is to create an s3 bucket to do this log into the aws console as a user that has s3 full access navigate to s3 and click on create bucket provide a name for your new s3 bucket and you can leave all other settings as default if you wish you can provide a tag for your project by default s3 blocks public access to all objects for newly created buckets you can leave it on and click create bucket navigate to the newly created bucket and verify the properties you will see that the static website hosting is not enabled and the blocking of public access is turned on we'll change that in a later step step 2 is to upload the website assets let's take a brief look at the website assets that we created we have a couple of html pages each with one splash image we have index.html and an error.html both of which are simple html pages let's briefly preview the two web pages index.html page shows a splash image and error.html shows a custom error image now in order to upload the website assets to the s3 bucket we simply drag and drop them into the aws console with the s3 bucket open select all the default options we will deal with the permissions later and click upload you should see that all assets are uploaded the third step is to tell aws that this bucket will be used to host a website and that it should be accessible to the public to do that we head over to the static web hosting tile in properties tab and click on enable we provide the index.html and error.html pages for the default home page and the default custom error page respectively now 
now if you try to access this website endpoint you will see that it says access forbidden because we still have not enabled public access on this bucket To do that, head over to the Permissions tab and edit Block Public Access setting and uncheck the box and confirm. Removing this block is not sufficient though. You need to explicitly grant read access to all objects in this bucket to unauthenticated public users through a bucket policy. You specify that by going to the bucket policy tab within permissions. Click on edit. Paste this piece of JSON code that specifies a bucket policy for public read access. Mention the name of the bucket and save it. As you can see, this makes the bucket publicly accessible and AWS flags this bucket as a publicly accessible bucket. Now the fourth and final step is to test the website endpoint. Copy the website endpoint once again and test it in a separate browser window. You should see the index.html page open by default. When you try to access any non-existent page, you should see the custom error page. That's it. Your website is now fully up and running. So we saw how easy it is to set up a static website on Amazon S3. We started by creating a bucket, we uploaded all the website assets to that bucket and then configured that bucket for static web hosting and public access. We then finally tested that the website is working and accessible from the public internet. That's it for now. We'll explore more solutions that you can architect using AWS services in upcoming videos. Stay tuned to Hands-On AWS.